Lizards can swim. They are not great swimmers but they can swim if needed. The only lizards that typically live in areas surrounded by water, swamps, rivers, etc., are species of water monitor, including the mangrove monitors and marine iguanas. Other lizards will occasionally enter the water to escape a predator. Can lizards swim underwater? Yes, lizards can swim underwater. Lizards are very agile in water. They are often seen swimming under the water to escape from their predators and get an easy access to hide there. Lizards can breathe underwater? Yes, they can breathe underwater for a long time. Lizards are cold-blooded animals with the ability to adjust their body temperature with surroundings. When in water lizards absorb oxygen through their skin and mouth lining which is sufficient enough for them to live underwater for hours or days. The lizards are swimming and diving to avoid being eaten by birds. The longest dive they have recorded so far was 16 minutes, an individual swam away after it disturbed them. It's possible these creatures can remain underwater even longer than this feat, though no one has been able to test out just how long yet. How far can lizards swim? Lizards can swim a great distance by taking advantage of a phenomenon known as saltatory locomotion. Although they cannot propel themselves through the air as flying lizards do, they vigorously use their tails to generate motion relative to the water's surface. This motion generates thrust and propels the lizard forward or backward with each tail stroke. The strokes are so vigorous that lizards can even move against currents of water. The effective speed of lizard swimming also seems to be greater than its running speed on the ground, so the animal's overall activity is less constrained by water resistance than it is on land. Can blue tongue lizard swim? The blue tongue lizard can swim, but it does not have a special adaptation for aquatic living. It also cannot stay submerged for more than a few breaths before heading to shore or climbing onto a rock. However, these lizards favor water and often live around it. They love the shade of eucalyptus trees which line many waterways in Australia. When threatened, the blue tongue will run to water for safety or play dead in it. They are also able to duck themselves underwater by bending their neck backward and folding their legs up close to their body. This is a last resort defense mechanism and they only do this if cornered with no other option of escape. The blue tongue lizard does not have webbed feet or other special adaptations for swimming. They do tend to favor water around their habitat and often live near it. Can western fence lizards swim? Many fence lizards instinctively flee into water when threatened by a predator such as a snake, raccoon, or cat. However, there is little information about how well these reptiles can swim and hold their breath underwater. A recent study published in the Journal of Zoology tries to answer this question for fence lizards and other members of the genus Celeporus, like the Texas spiny lizard, S. Texanus. The authors of this study looked at how well common fence lizards, S. Undulatus, can swim underwater and what factors influence their ability to stay submerged for long periods of time. They performed swimming trials with captive lizards in an artificial stream and monitored the lizards' ability to hold their breath and avoid drowning. They placed individual fence lizards into a deep pool and allowed them to swim down and reach the bottom, which took between 1.5 to 3 minutes depending on the lizard size, they estimated that for captive S. undulatus with an average mass of 18 grams, asphyxiation would set in at about 10 minutes. While the lizards were underwater, they continuously opened and closed their mouths, indicating that they were actively holding their breath. If air bubbles were blown into the water near them, this was usually enough to make them resurface for air. Once on land, however, none of the lizards could breathe and all died within 15 minutes. 